literally money will just follow you once you have mastered something. So you got to master something. Um, let's get into this freaking sales process because that is the skill. If you think, Hey, I want to replace my nine to five job. I want to place the active income with more active income that I will eventually be able to scale out of. I probably work in my wholesale business. Felipe would say maybe two hours a day. I work in the wholesale business. Yeah, around there. Probably about two hours a day at this point. Coming up here in the next like three or four months, I will be out of that wholesale business. Me and Felipe just had a meeting um, yesterday and I was like, bro, let's go. I'm changing things a little bit. I'm changing these little dials. We're doing a little bit different type of marketing that's going to allow me to get out. And Felipe is going to take the freaking reins. He is going to be the one just locking up all the deals. I will not need to be there. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> what, allow, what, it, what has allowed me to get to this point after like a year and a half, two years of me just hammering 40, 60, 70, 80 hour weeks was perfecting this skill. So here's what happens before we get into the eight step sales process. Once I find this coach, right? And I've realized that I need to learn sales. I got obsessed with sales for six months straight. I did any and everything to get better at sales. I'm doing role plays in the morning. I'm talking every single day. My girlfriend's right here. Her name is Victoria. Everybody say hi. hi. <laughs> um, babe, how obsessed was I like when I was really learning sales? When I went to sleep, when I woke up, when I was doing sales. She, she like, <laughs> like to the, the point where she's just like, yo, this is freaking annoying. I just want to. <laughs> but to the point where she's just like she, she's like I'm this is freaking annoying I just want to go to bed and you're making me watch videos of you just sitting here in your office making calls I would literally record myself as I'm just on my computer making calls and she would literally watch those videos with me give me tips like hey babe maybe you should have said this to that person maybe you should have said this to that person maybe that came off a little bit different and I did that I did role plays I listened to every freaking single sales book that I could. I listened to every other investor's calls that I could. I learned a process. I got a coach, like did all these things for six months straight and just became a freaking master and created my own process. And that's what I want to bring you guys today. I want to show you guys what this process looks like. So there's two things that you need. You need a process, but you also need skills to get you through that process. Okay. The reason why you need a process is because if you do not have a prospect process, you will fall victim to the seller's prospect process, right? So let's just say, um, Mello, let's just say you go to the Foot Locker, right? You come into the Foot Locker, you're really not looking to buy something. I'm the salesperson, right? You come into the Foot Locker. What do pe people typically say? I'm the salesperson, right? Mello walks in. And he's like this, he's looking at all the shoes. I'm the sales guy. I say, hey, Mello, what's up? What brings you in today? What, what is he probably going to say? I'm just looking. I'm just looking. I'm just, how'd you know that? Because you say that. Because <laughs> that's, because why? Because that's your process. That's your process as a client, as somebody buying, right? You already have that. You already know when you're going into a, to a shoe store, you're like, oh yeah, I'm just looking, bro. Okay. You can have your own process as a salesperson to like overcome that. That's kind of like an objection in itself, right? That's something that somebody always says all the time to get the sales guy off their back. But what if you had something in place where you're just like, hey, I know when somebody comes in that door and says, oh, I'm just looking. What if you already knew what to say? If Melo came in my store and was like, hey, I'm just looking, I'd be like, okay, great. What you looking for? That's it. What are you looking for? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm really just here kind of, kind of just browsing around. Okay, great. What type of shoes do you like? You know, I really like the new Nikes that came out and stuff like that. Great. Let me bring you over to them. Now he's in my world. Now I'm selling him. Most salespeople would have been like, what do you think they would have done? They would have said, all right, you want to go in. Yeah. Okay. Let me know if you need something. And they never sell anything. Mello wants to buy shoes. Mello's got money. Mello, listen, Mello's got the buku bucks. I know Mello's got the buku bucks. 
So we got to get him some shoes, bro. Melo's going out tonight. I want him to look fly. It's my responsibility so that Melo is fly for the night and go and gets himself some, you know, okay? So that's why it's important to have a sales process. Second thing, you got to have skills, right? So if you, have the, if you have this process and you know, like, the questions to ask and everything like that, and you don't have the skills that you need to implement the process, then you're pretty much just going to waste your process, right? You're going to be going through this process and you're going to go home, you're going to get on the phone, and you're going to tell me, Mike, all these questions that you asked, that you told me to ask, are not working. Like, I don't know why you had me ask those questions because these sellers are telling me to go F off and all these different things. So you got to have a skill set and, and a bunch of tools in your tool belt to get you through the process. So let's get into the first slide. 